So good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, Provost Teresa Woodruff, uh, Dean uh, uh, Long, and the 2022 Mandela Washington Fellows. Good afternoon, colleagues. It is an honor to have been asked to say a few words at this august occasion. And I would like to thank Professor Salah Hassan for inviting me. As many of you know, I wear two hats. The first is of an academic, and the second of an administrator. So allow me to also briefly put on my scholarly cap as I recount the important history of the beginnings of Michigan State University's relationship with the African continent. One that, is, one that started many, many, many moons ago and continues until today. 1960 was the year that MSU helped found University of Nigeria in Soka, the first indigenous university of higher education in Nigeria and the first land grant university in Africa. Imagined by Nnamdi Azikiwe, the first president of Nigeria, who had a vision of building an American model land-grant university in Africa's most populous nation. He would collaborate with Michigan State University's visionary president, John A. Hanna, and Glenn L. Ta Target, Hanna's dedicated and determined dean of international programs, as it was then called. This ambitious partnership would inform and model MSU's approach to international engagement and collaborations for years to come. From 1960 until the breakout of the Nigerian Biafran Civil War in 1967, 150 MSU faculty and staff relocated to the hilly, I lost it. Okay, there we go, sorry to the hilly and picturesque community of Nsoka in eastern Nigeria. And in collaboration with President Azikiwe and his Nigerian partners, built a university a curriculum in the arts, sciences, engineering, and yes, agriculture, that would espouse the land grant mission of uplifting the community and nation in which the university was located. While this early MSU community at Nsoka would find itself on the wrong side of the war, consequently considered persona non grata and subsequently removed from the country, the enduring impact of this early collaboration and partnership with Nigeria helped solidify MSU's commitment to Africa as a continent as well as its expertise on it. Today, MSU is home to over 250 Africanists in a multiplicity of disciplines engaged in research, teaching, and service collaborations and partnerships across the African continent. These faculty produce more PhDs on Africa, offer more study abroad programs in Africa, and teach more courses in African languages than any other university in the U.S. In fact, MSU's, yes, 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 yes. In fact, MSU's African History PhD program has been ranked in the top three in the nation for the past one decade. So, I'm a historian, so I always have to give you a <laughs> So this brief history brings us to why we are all gathered here today. To celebrate your successful completion of the Mandela Washington Fellowship for Young African Leaders. The articulated aim of this U.S. Department of State program is to bring young African leaders to the U.S for academic and leadership development and to create opportunities for intercultural collaborations between the fellows and their hosts, all in the quest to help, quote, spur growth and prosperity, strength, strengthen democratic governance, 
and enhance peace and security across Africa and the United States, end quote. You all represent the best and the brightest. You have been recruited across all 19, uh, 49 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. You have demonstra uh, de demonstrable records of achievement in promoting innovation and impactful change in your organizations, institutions, and communities. The expectation is that you will continue to build upon the skills and connections that you have cultivated during your program of study and with the support from the U.S. Department of State be able to access ongoing professional development, networking, and collaboration opportunities. What a phenomenal and deserved opportunity. Congratulations. As Mandela Washington Fellows, you have spent six weeks at MSU, an institution that has a vested interest in Africa and in developing and supporting African talent. I very much look forward to learning about how you will apply the technical and leadership skills acquired during your Civic Engagements Leadership Institute here at MSU to better serve the African public. Allow me now to conclude by once again expressing my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you for your successful completion of this prestigious program. As that insightful, Titus and I come from the African continent, so we have to use African proverbs. So, as that insightful African proverb goes, it takes a village to raise a child. Please know that MSU is your village, and as your village, we will remain here to support you and to cheer you on. As your village, we are here to celebrate each and every one of your successes and remind you of that Liberian proverb that states that if the townspeople are happy, look for the chief. <laughs> Go out now and be chiefs, those good leaders who ensure the happiness of their people, who, as the Ugandan proverb submits, create the forest that accommodates and nourishes everyone in the community. Go out there and be nation builders. Thank you and congratulations.